We're coming to you live from the SPI Convention Center where the UTRGV women's basketball team is taking on in Boise State. Vaquero's up at seven at half. We're talking basketball tonight, but last week all the news was about UTRGV football. The program hiring its first ever head coach, Coach Travis Bush, and he joins us tonight for a live interview here from SPI Coach Bush. Thanks a lot for joining us. Want to get straight to business. Football games here in August of 2025. What do you got to do to get ready until then? You know, we've got a, we've got a long way to go, obviously, to do everything we need to do to start the program. You know, what you'll start to see this spring is we'll, we'll hire a handful of assistants uh, in the planning phase, the building phase. We'll start building facilities soon. We'll start recruiting later this spring for the class of 2024. Hopefully by this time next year, we'll have a full staff in place to finish up the uh, recruiting class. We'll bring that first class on uh, the fall of 2024. Uh, about a half half a squad, what you normally see from a Division, Division One school, and we'll practice that fall. Come back, sign another class in 25, have spring training, and then obviously we'll kick off in the fall of 2025. What goes into hiring uh, some coordinators? How how tough is that, especially with a startup school? Well, you, you really you've got a lot of interest right now, and in being in the game for a while, there's a lot of guys I know um, that are interested in coming. But it's going to be it's a unique job now. It's uh, what we have to do the next couple of years. So you've really got to got to really look at the right the right people as well make sure they know what they're getting into uh, guys that are commit to being here for a few years uh, guys that know the conference and really know know what we need to do to recruit to this level and recruit to the valley you were at UTSA when they started up their football program what do you take away from that experience and how can that help you here as you start this program well there's a lot of things you know being able to have firsthand experience from it and seeing things that 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 popped up that we weren't ready for back then but now having a plan for all those things and, uh, and being able to do it really a lot a lot better uh, nothing against anything we did we just didn't know 10 years ago we didn't know some of the things that are going to pop up now but it's a different game also there's some different regulations in NCAA with a, which allow us to get some different people in right off the bat so uh, but there's going to be a great plan and that's what these next two years are for is planning every every single aspect out of this program and uh, real quickly coach just what's the reception been like for you here as you made your way back to the valley Oh, phenomenal. Uh, the people are excited and being from here, being around here, I was telling them earlier, you know, we were down in Brownsville meeting with with people all day today. We go have lunch for a lunch meeting and walk in. I see an aunt that I hadn't seen in like six years, you know, so it's just, again, being back home and reconnecting and reuniting with family and, and friends has been awesome. Once again, if you didn't know, Coach grew up in the Valley. His dad used to coach at PSJA, so that's the connection to the Valley. Coach, once again, thanks a lot Thank for so joining much. us, and uh, we look forward to watching these games down the road and you build that program in the near Good. future. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, guys.